Okay, for the Striker Pro Shop Bowling Trivia Question of the Week. Week number one, it was in which lane number one ball did the diamond in the diamond weight block first appear? The answer is a raspberry buzzsaw. And because nobody had the correct answer, the price uh, for the gift card is going to go up to $75. Nobody had the answer? So for this week, the Striker Pro Shop Bowling Trivia Question of week number three is... In what bowling center was the first 300 game shot on TV and who shot it? I'll give you the answer next week. Next week. You can email the answers in to Daniel at strikeonproshop.com. And here we are back at Leeward Bowl. Semi-final match of the Bowler's Edge Open and still striking. Mike Carter is still striking. Doing what he does best. We have Mike Okutani up. And a team of Okutani and Okamoto. This shot a qualifying series of 13-24. Went on and defeated Lau and Kim, 2.47 to 2.03. And went on to bowl against Miyashiro Miyashiro, 2.34 to 1.60. Shot a series of 18.05, which put them in position number two. Well, if you notice, Mike, oh, changes the hard plastic ball for the 10-pin and the ball still hooked. So the lane is breaking down. Yeah, he goes, wow. I was surprised at that, but he's playing almost the same shot that Ganazumi was playing on lane six. Maybe a, even further in. Lanes are breaking down. Daryl Lokomoto up on lane five. Wow, that was an early ball reaction ball hooked at his feet. That's what, the 14 at the arrows? He's looking down on the lane and trying to realign himself. Well, bowling on this pair, lane five was a slower lane. Well, Daryl's married to Rachel. He has three children, Caitlin, Caleb, and Callie. He wants to send his special thanks to Rachel and Darren Hidani, Kim and Kimo Kilmer, and his partner, Mike Okutani. Well, Glenazumi still up on lane six. Let's see if they can jump out to that early lead like they did in the last game. Right over the 12 board. Oh. Wow, again, he left that once in the game previous, the 6 7 10 split. I saw him pull the string on that. He put it sideways. <laughs> he pulled it the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a certain way you have to pull a string. Well, he's going to cross lane. Oh! oh! Nice try. Trying to do the TV shot here. That's two splits for Glenn on lane six. Watch this. How close. Oh! Mm. Millimeters. Wow. He just rips the cover off that ball. I like Mike. He doesn't show any emotions. He goes up there and just rips the ball. It's like he's mad. Oh, but he's just the nicest guy when you talk to him. He doesn't like the pins, though. No. <laughs> so destroy the pins. And there goes Mike Okutani. 15 board out to the 10. That's a solid. Solid strike. Well, maybe that made up for that missed tempo. You know, this team, Okutani and Okamoto, defeated Miyashiro and Miyashiro. And keep all the 300. And once again, once you go into match play, yeah, things can change. It's a different story. Okay, Daryl made a slight okay. move and put more loft on the ball. Too. Got the ball further down the lane. First double of the match. And what does Dennis August say? Person who doubles first usually wins the match. And you know, nine out of ten times, that's true. I always oh. see that happen. Let's see if it's true this time. A little oh. bit more. Oh, wow. oh again. Oh boy. He, I think uh, his lane has broken down. He crossed the 12. Ball didn't reach the 10. Hooked early. 
Man, his lane has changed for him. But during warm up, he was shrinking. <laughs> Fickle lane conditions. They're going for this one. Oh, oh no, they're <laughs> close. Wow. Bad time for a split here. But I think it's better to have the split in the beginning of the game than the end. Yeah, yeah it's fourth frame, though. It's getting to be the middle of the game. So, oh. Oh, oh. oh! Oh! Sent it way out. <laughs> but so what? <laughs> well, <laughs> Same he, result. He kind of lost the ball off his head. Watch this. Oh, just barely makes it back. But that's why you throw the revs here. Shake up those pins. A lot of revs, get the pins off the wall to take out pins that are standing. That's right. When you, when you have the pin action, you know, good things happen. Oh, 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 unlucky break there. 5-7 split. It looked like Mike's ball actually quit on him. It, it kind of straightened out on the back end. Well, Mike is married to Joyce. He has two daughters, Dawn and Shay, and two grandsons, Cody and Rin. He's a technician. He has one title. Okay, open frame for the team of Okamoto and Okutani. Pretty close match, yeah. yeah. You know, if Glenn can make an adjustment and strike here, they can actually take a one-pin lead. More loft, more speed for Daryl. Wow. Solid 10. He really wanted that strike. He, he did some string pulling on that one, too. Daryl did. It looked like he was pulling a cable. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, Ampro is still open. Check out Sanford before he retires. If you remember, he's a crazy guy for the old bowler's warehouse. Ampro is at 96 1243 Wine Honor Street in the Pearl City Industrial Park. Mention this ad and receive a special discount. That's Ampro 456 7400. You see that? Darrow is still using a football for his spare. That's uh, the, one of the plastic balls. That actually gives it more room. Ah, there, there it, it is. is. Hit the 10 board on that one. And he smiles. <laughs> well, that's that's a huge shot there. That gives him yes, back the is. lead, you yeah. know. And now if Mike can strike again, that's the 11-pin lead. Huge, huge. This is where the Baker style doubles is so great because your partner can help you. Oh, my God. A little into yeah. it. Six pin. Well, QSO of Hawaii is your one stop shop for mortgage and real estate needs, offering various mortgage loan programs and realty services. Please call Hawaii TV Bowling Champion Virgil De La Cruz at 5390 for some great deals. QSO of Hawaii is an equal housing lender. Oh, well, Mike gets a spare. Yeah. Hey, folks, we're all tied up.